In this video, we look at a sample answer for question 4. In the lecture, the professor discusses two ways in which frogs are able to survive in dry climates. The first way is by creating a protective layer over its skin to reduce the risk of water loss. For example, there are certain frogs that secrete a waxy substance from their skin, which they then rub all over the skin using their hands and feet, which creates a barrier that is practically watertight. This helps to protect them against losing moisture. Another feature that helps some frogs survive in dry climates is having a specialized internal organ for the purpose of water storage during dry periods. For example, there is a particular frog that has a bladder that is able to expand to hold large amounts of water, which is then stored for use during periods when there is no rain. This means that the frog is able to survive until the next period of rain. What specifically makes this a good answer? Let's take a look at rubrics for the speaking. Let's begin with language use, which covers vocabulary and grammar. Notice the consistent use of the present simple throughout my answer. We often use the present simple to describe things that are true or factual. For vocabulary, I made good use of paraphrasing. That is how I paraphrase the question and use it as my introduction. I said the professor discusses two ways in which frogs are able to survive in dry climates. I also make use of vocabulary that is appropriate for the topic, for example, the words like watertight and losing moisture, specialized organs, and protective layer. And for the topic development, I made sure to cover the most important information sufficiently. I clearly identified the two ways in which frogs are able to do that to dry climates, and I link both of these two ways in the example stated in the lecture. For delivery, I make sure to vary my intonation and place more emphasis on important points so they stand out clearly and I pronounce words clearly so that listeners do not struggle to understand me. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and we always appreciate the feedback. As usual, if this video is helpful to you, then please like and subscribe so we can make more videos like this. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.